Hi everybody, I'm Coach Ali and this is Steph. Welcome to the fourth week of Limitless, the home dumbbell workout series that will transform your body like no other workout on YouTube. Let's continue our Limitless home dumbbell workout series with the following workouts. An upper body dumbbell workout on Tuesday at 10 p.m., a legs day dumbbell workout on Thursday at 10 p.m., and a comprehensive full body dumbbell workout on Saturday also at 10 p.m. We're committed to taking the guesswork out of your training. You simply go from this workout to the next and always train in sequential order. Try not to miss a workout along the way. Do every workout that we release as part of the Limitless series. This will ensure that you work out every body part effectively in the correct order. Over the past three weeks, we've used isometric exercises to create time under tension method of training. We've also used drop sets to alter the weight during our sets. These are both proven methods to help you build muscle and create shape. Now this week, we're gonna create isometric and isotonic exercise with a single dumbbell. So by pressuring one side of the body and not the other, we're gonna get more core contraction and lateral stabilization, forcing your body to work harder to get through your sets. Steph, tell our viewers what the game plan is for this week. This week we'll start with an isotonic 30 second set and then we'll go into 15 seconds isometric holding of your weights immediately after. We'll do exactly the same on the opposite side before going into a 30 second rest break. We'll repeat the full superset one time and then move on to the next exercise. This week's training will test you at a whole new level you guys, so be sure to select your weights carefully and try to keep up with us. As you know, we're all about giving you focused training that really works when it comes to transforming your body into a very capable and very aesthetic physique. For those of you training with us for the first time, welcome to the channel and thank you for giving me the opportunity to share my experience with you. Coach Ali is a master fitness trainer and former IFBB Mr. Australia with over 25 years of experience transforming countless bodies at the gym, including mine, so I'm sure you'll pick up lots of useful tips today. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button right now so that you don't miss the next workout in this series. If you want amazing results, it is very important that you follow this series in the exact release order and do not miss a workout. Before we get started, I just wanted to quickly let our channel members know that I'm uploading some bonus workouts in this week's method for you guys, and they'll be uploaded to the members community. So be sure to keep an eye on that, and let's stay on top of your physique development. Now, if you're interested in becoming an exclusive channel member and taking advantage of the extra services on offer, be sure to hit that blue join icon, and let us take your transformation to the next level. That's enough talking from us. Let's get into this week's Limitless Home Dumbbell Workout Series, covering an upper body workout, a legs day workout, and a complete full body dumbbell workout. All right guys, so we're using a single dumbbell today for all of our exercises, and our warm-up is gonna consist of a bunch of 45 second sets before we move into our supersets. Let's start with some thrusters. So you can see our feet are parallel, our shins are also parallel, and we're dropping down into that squat and pushing up into a shoulder press to complete our thruster. So drop down with your bum and make sure that you're keeping your back nice and neutral and try not to lean forward too much for this one. Okay, so we don't need a dumbbell for this one and you can see we're doing it on a bench but if you prefer doing this on the floor then that's okay as well it's basically a soft burpee so you can see there's no jumping element in there it's just a matter of stepping in hitting that push up and then stepping back up again really good opportunity just to warm that body up and ready to go for our big supersets take your time and warm up because you're in for it today guys
single arm row for this one guys now we're doing it using the bench from a three points position but if you're at home and you're not using a bench you can use a chair or you can use any elevated surface to create the same position basically now make sure that you drop those dumbbells straight down and then pull it up with your elbow tucked in and try and finish with your hand at your ribs for the isometric component go to the high position and try to maintain it there for 15 seconds single arm T row from that three points position using the bench and then just make sure that your elbows are nice and wide when you're pulling up. This is going to hit your posterior delts and it's going to hit a lot higher up your back than when you're doing your traditional rows so it's actually a harder exercise. Make sure there's no swinging up and down of the shoulders. We want to make sure we try and maintain our posture and I want you to particularly pay attention to maintaining a neutral spine and not hunching. Just stay. It's like you're my person. 
personal Illuminati I know that some might say that I am just a bad girl But if you treat me right I will be the best girl in this whole world No, I'm not gonna bite I got my hands on your body So tell me, tell me what you want me to do can be good or be not in Wide chest press for your workout with dumbbells, guys. You can see that it's single-sided, so we're engaging our core because you need that to stabilize and balance. Now, you can do it on the bench or you can do it on the floor if you're not using a bench today. Make sure you drop those elbows nice and wide and then press all the way to the top. And then when we go into the isometric hold, we're just holding the low position. Now, if you're doing it on the floor, make sure that your elbow does not touch the floor. We need to keep that engagement in the chest and triceps.
A rotating chest press for this exercise. So you can see it starts off with our elbows tucked in by our ribs and a neutral hand position. And then when we're going into the high position, we're pronating the hand and getting that nice twist in there. So this is going to really emphasize all parts of your triceps while we're working your chest and a little bit of your anterior delts as well. And then doing it one at a time, obviously you'll feel the core balance and stabilization necessary to finish it as well. Let's go. Alright guys, this one is a front raise with a hammer hand position. So you can see 
at the low part of the exercise, we're starting in front of our thigh, which basically takes a lot of the momentum away and it forces your anterior delts to do all the work. We're finishing with our arm nice and horizontal. And then make sure you've got ample control in the eccentric part of the movement. We don't want to just drop the weight down. We want to make sure we control both ends of the movement. For your isometric exercise, we're going to go to the top of the exercise and hold your arm nice and horizontal for 15 seconds. L-shape lateral raises for this exercise. So you can see we've got our arms in that L-shape and then it's a matter of pulling the elbow out and lifting up until your upper arm creates a horizontal line from your opposite shoulder all the way to the tip of the elbow. This is going to really work your lateral delts and it's going to work your traps as well. For the isometric component, we're going to go to the top of the exercise and we're going to maintain it and just hold it there. Now, as you start to tire, make sure that your wrist doesn't flex. You've got to try and keep that nice and straight.
All right, so for your shrugs, guys, we're going to go with two different isotonic exercises instead of an isometric set. So you can see with the first one, we're essentially circling backwards. So you're lifting your shoulder all the way up, trying to touch your ear with it, and then you're circling out. This is going to relieve your traps without causing any kind of strain. For the second lot, we're just going to go straight up and down. So just keep emphasizing on working those traps. Seated dumbbell shoulder press for this exercise, guys. Again, single-sided because it is a single dumbbell workout. And you can see we're pushing all the way up and returning the eccentric component nice and controlled. Make sure there's no swinging back and forth as far as the torso is concerned. Now, for the isometric component, we're going to find about two-thirds of the way down and we're just going to maintain it. You're going to really feel the pressure in the shoulders on one side. So let's go ahead and have a good crack at this before switching to the other side.
single sided dumbbell fly raise for this one. So we're starting in that standing position, making sure that our knees are slightly bent. And you can see we're starting with our arm nice and wide, and then we fly and we raise at the same time. So the dumbbell finishes in front of our face. Now for the isometric hold, we're going to go to the high position and we're going to try and maintain it. So this is going to really burn up the shoulders, the top of the chest, and it's going to have really good core engagement because you need to squeeze with your abs to maintain your position up there. Right, let's continue that home dumbbell workout with some single arm dumbbell bicep curls. Now you can see there's no movement in that elbow. It's staying by our ribs and we're starting low with a neutral hand where your elbow is nice and comfortable. And then when we come up, we're going to supinate our hand 90 degrees. So you've got to make sure you get that good turn at the top. For the isometric component, we're going to be about two thirds of the way up and we're just going to hold it there. So you're going to really feel that burn in the peak of your biceps.
single dumbbell standing hammer curls for this exercise. Now you'll note we're starting from the front of our thigh as opposed to the side. So we're cutting out the momentum and we're cutting out the inefficiency in the exercise by doing it this way. Make sure there's no twisting in the wrist at all. So try to keep that hammer position the whole time and get nice range of motion. For the isometric component, we're gonna go about halfway up, maybe a little bit more and just hold it nice and still. single dumbbell reverse grip curls guys this one's quite a difficult one the challenge is going to be to try to keep your elbow nice and still and then when you come up you can see i've moved into a 45 degree hand position which is going to keep the elbow nice and comfortable but because we're still maintaining the pronated hands we're going to get this in our lateral biceps and our lateral triceps you're going to find that you're really working your forearm extensors during this exercise as well so it's a really good holistic arms exercise
single-sided skull crusher for this exercise. Now, again, you can do this on a bench or you can do it on the floor. The main thing is that the upper part of your arm remains vertical and it doesn't move. So we don't want your elbow moving back and forth. We want to try and keep it stationary. The lower part of the arm drops towards your shoulder just next to your ear and then it's going to go back up into a perfectly vertical arm. So this is really going to emphasize both your triceps and your anterior delts as well. The arms action going for our home dumbbell workout with some three-point tricep kickbacks. Now you can see that our elbows are glued to our ribs so they're not dropping and the only movement comes from the lower half of your arm. So make sure that elbow is tucked in by your ribs and where people can make another mistake in this exercise is the flexion in the wrists. So try to keep those wrists nice and straight the whole time. The isometric component is going to be really difficult. We're just going to hold the extended arm for 15 seconds.
Well done for finishing today's dumbbell workout at home and progressing through another week of our Limitless Dumbbell Workout series. If you enjoyed your workout with us, please make sure that you are subscribed to our channel and hit that alert button so that you don't miss the next workout in this series. Very important, you guys. If your goal is to burn body fat and get lean, make sure you continue to the Secrets to Burning Fat workout video right now. You'll see a link of it at the end of this video. Now, make sure you get straight into it right now while your body is perfectly primed for burning body fat, which is immediately after strength training. If you're finished working out for today, we recommend moving on to our post-workout stretching and cool down video with our physio Daphne. There is also a link of her stretching playlist at the end of this workout. As always, thank you guys for training with us and we look forward to bringing you another home dumbbell workout shortly and taking that body transformation of yours to the next level. Take care of yourselves and each other.